Salutations Internet, my name is Joseph Ferguson, and I can already feel the dislikes coming for this video, but no one is saying this, and I think someone really has to. Now yeah, tune into the motherfucking greatest. Now, Internet, whenever someone talks about Drake, people always think of him as hip-hop's pretty boy and the dude everyone loves to hate now. But I've noticed this weird double standard hypocrisy when it comes to Drake. Like, Drake could do something all the other rappers do, but Drake just gets flack for it just because he's Drake. And there are two main points that, that, that I want to hit on in this video. First one is the ghostwriting accusations. Everyone was thinking about it when you clicked on this video, you were thinking, well, he, everyone hates him because he uses a ghostwriter. So in that, like, ghostwriting header, there are two points I want to hit on with that. Number one being the definition of a ghostwriter. So vague and ambiguous, it could almost mean anything. Like, if I'm in the studio and I I say, yo, when I see this dude, I'ma hit him in the eye, then punch him in the thigh. And then someone I'm in the studio with goes, hey, yo, Joseph, what you said was cool, but you know what would be super ill? Is if you said you'd punch him in the eye and then tie his tie. You know, man, business casual and stuff. People would love that. The streets would eat it up. And then I say, you know what? That would be ill for me to say. Congratulations, I now have a ghostwriter. So a ghostwriter could be one bar, one verse, or an entire song. And, and we can't tell how much someone contributed to the song just from reading the credits. And now that we're talking about the writing credits, let's really talk about some writing credits. If you listen to a rapper, and that rapper has been on the road of the radio ever, then odds are they have helped writing a song. I'm not gonna say a ghostwriter because that sounds bad, but they have helped crafting a record. Most of these rappers can do bars, but there's a certain nuance and a flair and a twinge to writing an actual song, and some rappers need help with that. Now I know what, what you're thinking, your favorite rapper doesn't need help with writing a song because they're so amazing and talented and you're wrong. You're not right. You feel like Donald Trump wrong. Wrong. Dad. Just to start this off, just to show how unbiased I am, we're going to use my favorite rapper, Eminem. Bam. Look at that. Actually, pause this video and read the names on your screen. Look at how many writers there are for for each song that doesn't have a feature. If it's more than one name, then Eminem didn't write that song by himself. But Joseph, I don't even like Eminem like that. I think he's whack, personally. All right, cool, what about Kanye? Look at all those writing credits. Yeah, but I don't even F with Ye like that. No legends did that. Cool, what about Tupac? How about Big L? And Meek Mill, the guy who started this whole Drake doesn't write his own raps thing, has a girlfriend, and her name is Nicki Minaj. She's one of the biggest rappers on the planet right now. Let's take a look at her last album, What Do You Know? She gets help on records too. So if you hate the fact that Drake gets help on songs sometimes, and you think it's not authentic, and you think it's not hip-hop, that is 100% fine. But just know that if you hate that, you have to hate all of the other artists I just said. I could keep going. I could talk about how Pharrell helped Kendrick write and produce the song all right that doesn't make Kendrick a bad rapper that just means Pharrell is amazing at what he does and hey dot needed something catchy I could do a whole other video about why we need song helpers I don't like ghostwriters that sounds weird but song helpers in hip-hop but that would just be like I said a whole other video so let's just move on to my next point which is point number two people who call Drake a culture vulture now what that means is Drake will stand real close to somebody as they're blowing up and just kind of feed off of their energy. A lot of people say what a time to be alive is Drake being a culture vulture and him trying to get into the hood. What I see that is as smart marketing because he knows he doesn't appeal to the hood without Future. He knows this and that's why Future is on tour with him. But to that I have to say, remember when Jay-Z did that with Jeezy? Or remember when Jay-Z did that with Rick Ross? Like Jigga stood real close to Rick Ross right at the peak of their popularity and then as they started to dwindle, Jigga moved away from them. So now that I've debunked two of the most popular things people say about why they hate Drake, let me give you some good, legitimate reasons to dislike Drake. The first one, and in my personal opinion, the best reason to not like Drake is you just don't like his music. You're allowed to just not like someone's music. You can say it's poppy, you can say it's repetitive, you can say his voice is monotone, you can say it's nasally, you can say all of those things and be right and just be like, his music isn't for me. The problem is when you go to somewhere that's like, oh, I have an objective reason to not like Drake. I don't like ghostwriters. We covered that in the beginning of this video. Also, another really good reason to not like Drake is how he runs OVO. People call OVO just a Drake hit factory. Like, Drake will just walk in a studio session, 
listen to what songs are playing, and if he likes it, mm, that's on my album now, that's on my album now, and that's on my album now. Like, we, we can talk about how he handled The weekend and how The weekend wrote half a take care, and Drake was like, mm, mine now. Or we can talk about how Drake is handling Party Next Door, and how he's pretty much like a second weekend. Or we can talk about Majid Jordan, and now Drake is handling them, and how they wrote Hold On, You're Going Home for their album, but Drake was like, nah. I like that song. So you can say that he's manipulating all the people around him to make his own music better, but wouldn't that just make him a smart businessman and a good rapper? I don't know guys, I'm not here to tell you what to think, I'm here to just give you all the information and sift and weigh it for yourselves. So guys, now that we've reached the end of this video, have, have I changed your mind on Drake? Do you like him more now? Do you dislike him more now? Do you see where I'm coming from where Drake really isn't that bad of a guy or are you still on the F Drake? train because he's the worst kind of human. Let me know how you guys feel in the comment section down below. And hey, while you're down there, press that subscribe button if you haven't already. Press the like button if you liked this video. Favorite if you really liked it. But my name is Joseph Ferguson. I put out two new videos each and every week. And this has been a Jay Fergal production.